Okay, so last discussion, we have tackled about the features and parts of a Gothic architecture and what characteristics they have uh, with each design. So with our discussion today, we will be um, showing or we'll discuss about the samples of um, the production they did with the structures or these best examples in different parts of Europe. So with our timeline, we have um, three phases. So the early Gothic, the high Gothic, and the late Gothic. So we can um, we can give elaboration of this one or we can give uh, an analogy of this one through our Greek capitals, the Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian. And um, what we can see about those or how we can compare those is your mastery in its design. So how it became um, that intricate from the Corinthian um, capital. So with that late um, or with this late Gothic um, architecture, mas nagkakaroon na ng mastery on how they manipulate the materials, manipulate the construction system, or how they innovate. So let's start with France. Um, so the early phase is the Lancets, second is the Ryanant, and the third is Flamboyant. And we all know that Flamboyant means um, it has more curled, uh, curled details. So, early French Gothic is during the 12th century. It is the transition from the late Go uh, Romanesque architect architecture. And um, it is, it has series of experiments dahil nga dun sa system, from their failures sa um, Romanesque, they want to evolve it. However, siyempre, they are not sure yet. So, kumbaga, meron silang mga mathematicians, mga masons, mga carpenters, mga designers, but their theories are different on how they apply it. So, they write it, they draw it, but then, kumbaga, innovation sa kanila lahat ng phase na, phases na to. So, uh, they experience a lot. And during that time, syempre may mga ongoing na war or may mga ongoing na mga crusades that could affect um, different countries. Especially sa Europe, sobrang dami na ganap sa France. Then, with these experiments, they are able to heighten the wall and um, divide each um, sections of the structure in four tiers. So, we have the arcade, the gallery, triforium, and clerestory. So, kung naalala nyo na the arcades now has more aisles, uh, it has pointed um, arcs, then piers are mostly bundled pillarets or bundled columns, then the gallery is the space where they can put um, any painting or sort of sculpture or um, um, stained glass as well. Then the Triforium ha gives the uh, bigger or gives a space or gives a light then. So space siya para dun sa light na yun na ano. Or it gives um, proper bonding sa dalawang section and the Clare story which has the larger windows or so they're able to um, produce taller and higher or bigger windows that can um, introduce light to the interior of the structure as well as may kita nyo yung lightness ng structure from the insides so with the first um, or the early Gothic architecture in France, we have Abbot Suger. So he's an abbey of the Church of Saint Denis. He also served as the designer and architect um, during this earlier time. So kumbaga 1100, nagsa-study na sila to 1200. So they are able, kumbaga nag-start na yung, ano na yan, yung architecture na yon or nakita na yung science of Gothic sa um, Abbey Church of St. Denis. So, it is a mausoleum in 
Paris. It is one of the first grand model. However, kung may kita nyo sa structure, meron pang signs ng pagka-Romanesque. Um, not, hindi pa masyadong applied yung flying buttress. But then, uh, meron na siyang rose window. Some intricate um, pointy croquettes or mga designs sa bawat section. It has a tracery. Then, okay, ito ang um, view from the front. You can see kind of massing, but then taller. Taller, but, and it looks lighter than the Romanesque ones we um, have seen before. But sa interior, we have this. So, slender ang mga columns, yet they are larger structures more light na pumapasok, mas press kung nakikita. Do ang mga materials nila is dark and parang damp na ang ano, ang look. Um, it is able to give definition sa kung ano pang possibilities na magagawa ng um, structural system of a gothic architecture. Another good example we have is the Notre Dame de Laon. So, this is one of the earliest as well during the 12th 13th century. So, ito, alam na nila yung Gothic um, architecture or um, coined na siya as a Gothic architecture or goth a Gothic cathedral. So, as you can see sa mga pointy um, arcade from or sa portal, may mga um, pinakels din siya na magde-define nun. Then, it has gargoyles and Kapag masa-search na to ng mas maige, yung mga gargoyles na is karabaw. We don't have a proper info kung bakit karabaw ang ginamit niya. Or cows. Um, then we have the rose windows with good traceries na lighter. And it gives a, a grand um, design dun sa, tracer, uh, sa rose window na yan. So here it is. It has cows or carabaos uh, as ano, gargoyles. Then we have the Notre Dame de Paris. So with this, nagkaroon na ng parang ano, um, perfection sa pag sculpt nila. Cleaner look then um, mas maninipis yung mga details na kung titignan mo but then proper proportion so with this nagkakaroon sila ng ibang scaling of um, of each design elements so it has four levels as you can see from the um, exterior as well as well as the interior na may kita nyo so this is the first structure to use the flying buttress and it also has special features especially dun sa um, roofing system niya and may attic part siya na naging significant, naging very significant yung design ng woodworks doon. So, here's the plan of it. As you can see, itong, as you can notice, itong mga parts ng buttresses na to, mas maninipis na sila. Ang makapal lang na mapapansin niya lagi is around towers and um, kung saan nandun yung tower and spires. Kasi, Mga kailangan sila ng mas malaking support dahil uh, matataas yung mga um, structures na yun. Then, um, Cathedral of Notre Dame is uh, has a double aisle. Tapos, may actual ambulatories. So, itong dito. Double aisle. Then, transept is not projected beyond sa uh, aisle wall. So, sa gitna na siya. Yung entry point niya naka-connect from the buttresses. It has a sex tight vaulting. Then, um, it has a high double span of flying buttresses. So, sabi during the earliest form, kasi maraming phases na mangyayari sa bawat structure. So, ang bawat structure, mas mar marami silang mga masons and contractors kumbaga na gumagawa and 
took longer sa mga pa- sa paggawa nila. However, they want perfection kung bakit ganun. So, the early sex part tight is this. So, the ribs are transferred to the trust ng, ayan nga, to counterweight the roof. Inaabsorb ng mga pillars and also natatransfer sa buttresses. And also, uh, this cathedral contains of the all the surviving timber frames sa Paris. It is um, coined as the forest. It has a lattice work or lattice woodwork na um, na may kita to sa may um, attic and attic frames niya or sa roof frames niya. Then, um, this is a sample model or a study model from a BIM application. So, this is how it is. Um, kumbaga constructed yung mga timbers so we have a view from the attic space to a circular window however uh, recently or last year if I'm not mistaken 2019 nasunog yung cathedral and lahat ng mga timber works is nawala, nasira so walang natira but with this uh, photo may kita nyo yung mga flying buttress na mas manipis na makakapal yung from base but then it has pa, panipis na panipis as you go up yung mga main buttress then towers are a bit massive but um, gives a proper proportion so for what I believe, etong study model na rin to is related sa balak nilang recreation ng Notre Dame de Paris. So, it is facing the front. It has a gun gallery that connects to the two towers. And, um, it has um, gargoyles na represented with um, um, different different images. Okay? Then, sa frontage na, makakita kayo ng sculpture that signifies 28 kings of Judah and Israel, which is designed by Violet Leduc. So, each parts meron silang ibang mga um, constructor designer. With yung mga parts na to, they are replaced already pala. So, since katandaan ng structure, um, naging dilapidated then they are but they are able to reproduce another design of it then we have the rose window along um, west which has a 10 meter diameter it symbolizes the statue of Virgin Mary and uh, Jesus and they are accompanied by angels then the rose another rose windows we have that represent the triumph of Christ then we have uh, our portal. So, may tatlong portal to along the frontage. And as you can see, bawat um, arcs, bawat series of arcs, meron siyang kakaibang sculptures. So, sculpted between 1200 to 1240. That depicts the scene of uh, the life of Virgin Mary. Then, nandun din yung Last Judgment. And a life of Saint Anne, the Virgin uh, Mary's mother. Okay, so divided into three parts. So here's a diagram of it. Uh, you can view it at their website actually. So, and here's a finer view of it from um, a, a street. So, kung makikita nyo yung yung ibang mga rose windows nga pala is seen sa bawat uh, kumbaga wing nila or transept part. So, you can see manipis lang yung main spire nya. But, it has um, good proportion from all around. It is nasa pearl white yung color that gives it a different um, look 
and kaya ang grande ng ano niya ng ng um, um, design kumbaga so from the altar so kung mapapansin niyo yung um, vaulting niya and the ceiling is very wide because I mean ang church na to is malaking malaki it may not look like it from a uh, from some angle pero ayun sobrang wide ng ano ng roofing niya kung kaya meron pa siyang ibang may attic space pa siya at ibang um, timber system na ginamit doon sa taas aside sa sumusuport ng mga um, vault and columns dito so it was called Uh, it was at the earlier stage of ano, of Gothic architecture. So next one we have the Ryanan style, and which was begun at the Church Cathedral um, construction of Church Cathedral. So this one is stylized with um, circular and rejecting lines of traceries. Na may kita natin sa next sample. So ito yon. So may mga rejecting uh, foiled designs sa traceries doon sa rose window um, it has or one of the trademark trademark of Church Cathedral is that it has different styles of the tower so originally ginawa na, or earlier na nagawa ang um, right tower so kung mapapansin nyo meron siyang parang Romanesque feature hindi siya masyadong intricate sa sa wall carvings but it has um, taller columns or it is taller than the usual then naunang ginawa yung right tower nga but then they realized they could improve more dun sa kung pag apply ng um, gothic theme kaya yung nasa left tower mas look sa na ano na 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 gothic um, gothic architecture design so meron na siyang mga gargoyles meron siyang mga croquettes and lumitaw na mga ibang feature so the story of that is yun nga nagkaroon ng ibang timeline dun sa design and na late lang ginawa yung isang tower so yung palatandaan nyo magkaibang towers So it has a quadripartite vault. Um, it has simple interior. Meron pa ang advantage or ang difference ng niya is that yung triforium part is not serving like a gallery as well. So meron pa rin siyang look ng um, ng Romanesque, but then yon yung bundled columns and taller pointed arcs tapos um, larger clerestory it introduces more light so ito ang view from um, the altar and the other wing then these are the traceries found and the uh, what they call this, the rose window. So, sinasabing red jating. So, ito nga yun. So, meron siyang, or radial, it has, or it is um, followed by an angle. And another one we have is the Rhymes Cathedral. So, Notre Dame de Rhyme. It is um, dedicated to the Virgin Mary and it Um, coronation of the king of France dito ginaganap so this elaborated more the Ryanan style so meron sa mga pagka verticality dun sa carvings and uh, mas dark ang look niya compared sa early gothic kasi kung best example ng early gothic is the Notre Dame which gives parang um parang glamorous or grand design but with this one it becomes more um, darker more medieval like but gothic pa rin ang, ano, ang style 
So it has larger rose window. So yung distinction nyo with Rhymes it that is that um, it has an a pointed arc or an arc then uh, sa loob nun, it has the rose window then aside from that meron pa siyang another rose window from the central portal then the carvings are intricate as well more grotesque look and um, this is a large structure so unti unti ang target din kasi nila is makapag um, makapag produce ng larger structures, larger cathedral and um, one of their means then para maging kilala yung place is that ito and during their um, syempre, during sa mga times up until now yung patronage para ma makapag or maging mag-visit din ng ibang place yung ano na to, yung cathedral na to um, yan they make sure na magiging kilala yun saka specially yun pang um, mga, mga royal uh, people so dito yung coronation so mas grand ang design they made sure na magiging Ayan, magiging castle-like ang kop sa mga um, sa mga royal people yung look niya. Then, um, another one is the Beauvais Cathedral or Cathedral of St. Peter of Beauvais. So, it is the seat of bishops ng Beauvais, Noyon, and Senlis. And, um, it consists only of a single transept so kung makikita nyo dito sa right side a uh, choir and apps and seven polygonal upsidal chapels na mas magiging um, available na makikita from a plan but then um, this one is one of this is one of the most ambitious um, church they built kasi it became or it is larger and um, at some point during the construction of it they're not able to pull off the design dahil uh, unti-unti may mga nasisirang part dahil hindi kinakaya yung height ng structure it is massive but again um, if iko compare mo kung ano yung distinct distinction ng style na to from the um, from the other one aside dun sa look niya um, we have this um, lancet windows atop with a rose window then yun nga nag lang yung transept as you can see may mga um, ginamit pa sila mga steel bolts um mga steel cables, I mean. Just to support this structure. So, here's how big it is from um, the inside. So, this is the choir part. It is a six-part tight vault. It has a six-part tight vaulting with larger galleries and larger clerestory. So, ayun. Um, aside from that, they may they mixed these materials with um, steel during this time. So, isa na to sa mga first na gumamit ng ibang construction system, ibang material during that time. That's how that's how they are able to make it taller. However, this is a very ambitious church, dahil dun nga sa design niya na hindi siya um, kumbaga hindi kaya ng structural then we have the Amyan another one with uneven towers and that can be distinguished even um, even better so this is the largest gothic cathedral in France and uh, with this ito, itong 
church na to, nag-accept na siya na gumamit na talaga ng, mga, ng steel in order to make or to, to succeed in making it bigger. So that's how um, it is able to st- withstand yung, ano niya, yung structure itself. So it is the largest nga and distinction is it has an even height of towers. It still gives the same design or the same impression of its details sa bawat um, sa bawat uh, surface but it is well renowned for the large ca- quantity of polychrome sculpture which are seen with its portions especially dun sa inside the building so ang look nito is nasa grayish this one is just uh, a graded photo but um, ayun, it has a lot of bundled columns. It is a very, very, very large um, structure. Kung mapapansin mo yung scaling from the seats to the building itself, parang puro towers na lang or pillars na lang makikita mo. Then, it has a quadripartite vaulting. It has a very large arcade. So, from this um from the aisle part pa lang may mga large windows na so dun sa triforium and it didn't need a gallery part they just produce a blind arcades but the clutter story kahit na may kita mong parang um, maliit sila dito they're big in the real life and we have the late french gothic which is um called as the flamboyant style. So, meron na tong mga multiple uh, lacy ornaments, multiple um, buttresses, maraming maraming small details at um, or maraming perforations sa small details. So, nandun yung flame-like tracery kung bakit flamboyant style ang tinawag dito. So, entry kasi in detailing is more introduced in the interior space. The height and size of this structures were lost entirely. So, hindi na nila aim ngayon dito ang height. They're just aiming for the lightness of the structures and the uh, um, yung mga stones na ginagamit, the organic forms, yung ornamentation. And this is used sa mga castles during that time. So, dito, precedence na ang aim nila. Different typology, kumbaga. So, how they are able to give um, style not just from their cathedrals but also from their other um, types of, stru- of structure so yeah the best example data is the Windsor Castle okay so as you can see ito yung mga flying buttresses smaller sila and better it is um, surrounded with buttresses and the signs of um, gothic or pointy arcs is parang yung na uh, mas malit or parang yung two door. Right. So this will end our discussion for today. And next, a uh, next um, discussion will tackle about the Gothic architecture in England.